Hi, I'm Dr. Irfana Koita, Fertility Consultant. Today I'm going to talk to you about the basic investigations that one may need to have done if you're trying to get pregnant. If you're a woman under 35 years of age and you've been trying for over a year, or if you're over 35 years of age and you've been trying for six months, or on the other hand, if you already have a known subfertility problem, either in yourself or in your partner, then it's about time that you start thinking of having some basic checks. Now, I'm going to try and simplify this for you. We'll talk about checks that are required to be done in the female partner and checks which need to be done in the male partner. Now, as you know, in women, in order to get pregnant, we require the ovaries to be working, the tubes to be open, and of course, the womb should have no lumps or bumps. In order to assess ovarian function, we perform what is known as the ovarian reserve test. Now, this test is a check to see how active one's ovary is. And this is performed by doing an internal ultrasound scan and doing a blood test to look at various hormonal levels. In order to assess the tubes, one could do a dye test, which would allow us to see if the tubes are open, or put a telescope in the tummy to demonstrate tubal patency. In order to assess the womb cavity, one could do it under ultrasound guidance by putting some fluid within the womb cavity and taking three-dimensional images or alternatively performing what is known as a hysteroscopy, which is passing a telescope into the womb cavity. These are the basic checks that one would need to do to assess female subfertility. In the man, we tend to perform a semen analysis. In the semen analysis, we're looking at the count, so we want to ensure that there's enough sperm in there. We're looking at the speed at which the sperm are swimming and also the shape of the sperm, which is known as morphology. Checking for antibody levels is another good indicator for looking for subfertility in men. We also tend to do a semen culture, which looks for the presence of bacteria, which can prevent the sperm from penetrating into the egg. And finally, we also do what is known as a DNA fragmentation test, which looks at the sperm DNA. When the sperm DNA fragmentation index is high, fertility treatment would ben benefit in allowing us to inject the sperm into the egg, what is known as ICSI or intracytoplasmic sperm injection. So all in all, if you're trying to get pregnant and have been trying for a while, make sure that you have some of the baseline checks done and these can be performed very easily in our premises. There's no waiting list and you can have it done straight away as soon as you feel ready to start your fertility journey. Good luck.